All right, this one we're going back to the 80s with the mutilator or AKA fall break. I think that what it used to be called. Well, yes, or fall break. 80s movies. Did I watch before watching before? No. So when I watched it, it was the first time. The Mutilator, 1983. Let's get going with The Mutilator. So where's The Mutilator about, or AKA Fall Break when it came out before? What do you think about Spring Break? Partying up, 80s smasher, now it's Fall Break. Backstory, main character. Accidentally shoots his mother. His dad's mad. His dad kills his friends. Scene. That is literally the story. Dad's mad. Wants to get revenge for him killing his wife and the son killing his mom. So fall break, come to this beach house and get murdered. That's the premise of the story. Didn't take much in the A's apparently. <laughs> so good about the movie. Well, our body makes itself so be super gory and you know like of his time like ah! It really wasn't bad at all. Like the gore was, eh. I mean, some people got chopped in half and, you know, fake heads came off or anything. But story, that's it. I mean, people that were in this movie, all seven actors, that's their only credit for the movie. And I'm pretty sure that director, that's his only movie too. So, as you can see where it was, I'm actually surprised it got a transfer, I think a 2K transfer. Let me check. I think it got a 2K transfer? Yeah, a 2K transfer. Crazy, right? It's actually special DVD, Blu-ray, and a little booklet. Like, it's pretty impressive that, like, a movie that has no other acting credits or anything else or directing credits got a lot of director-approved stuff. It's impressive. I need to do that one day. But anywho, overall, The Mutilator. I didn't really tell you a lot because there's not a lot of good stuff to say about it. Bland acting, bland movie, okay gore. The Mutilator will get a 1 out of 5 blue futons, which equals a 20%. Now let's see what Rotten Tomato user scores and critics gave the mutilator. Alright, 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 Rotten Tomato here says a 0 critic scores, an audience score of a 23%. What do you know? I kind of matched it. I really haven't looked at the Rotten Tomato scores on these anymore before doing it. But hey, 23%, no critic scores. I'll just say bland all together. And I keep, I keep reaching back to this. I'm moving on on this one because even it says like, has returned to terrorize a whole new generation of horror fans. Apparently there's an FX wizard who did video drone in Evil Dead 2. So that's pretty impressive. This must have been one of his first ones to kind of like get in the game. But it says it's a classic uh, that people wanted to come. But apparently slasher films were in decline by the mid 1980s. So he still wanted to make one. He made one. It's really not that good. But mutilator, eh. But anyway, did you see the mutilator? Our fall break. Do you agree with my 20? Are the audience scores 23%? Cheese out with the blue futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this blue futon utopia. You blue futonians. And you might as well ring that bell because who knows what YouTube's going to do in the next three to weeks, months, years, years. Who knows? But thank you for watching. Watch out this shirt. Get ready for another review. See you later, alligator, in a while, mutilator. <laughs> <laughs>